had to um, come early and uh, leave. So, you know, for those of you that have made the effort to come here, thank you so, so much. This is just a really, really big deal. Um, for those that know, uh, sorry, big pun, for those that don't know, this is like a real massive dream for me. It's like seven years in the making. Um, and we wanted to make it a real memorable event to mark something that is, you know, we've all got dreams, right? And this is one of mine coming true. And it's not the biggest thing I'll probably ever do, but it's something that I couldn't have done without Martin. And I really want to, you know, really mark a few people that have helped me along the way. Uh, Wendy, who was here earlier, made a, a, a massive contribution in terms of her time in between, you know, being a single mum, looking after her kids, coming down here and painting, um, Lauren has spent quite a bit of time down here painting. Pete spent an hour down here as well. Um, we had Martin's sister and brother-in-law dragging the equipment down here. There was also Keith who helped us for a few hours, in the taking rain. so much care. Yeah, in the rain, bringing a lot of um, equipment down here. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Nothing. <laughs> um, for those of you that don't know, a lot of the equipment in here is a Massive thanks to someone who has actually passed away a long time ago, David Rees, who is the husband of one of my uh, very, very uh, long-standing clients, Nick Rees. A lot of the real cool old-school equipment and um, uh, machines was his, and he had a massive passion for bodybuilding. It's quite sort of ironic that as a result of him having that passion and me uh, training Nick Rees and her daughter Beth, um, that it's come to be an exchange of personal training for the gear that was st stuck in her garage, not doing anything for a long time. So, you know, you might look in here and think, hey, it's quite rustic and stuff, and that's, that's what we want. We want this to be about, you know, people come in here, they have a private space to train. It's a rugged, friendly, but no bullshit atmosphere where, you know, you come in here to train to get results, and um, Andy, um, Hannah's other half, is, is currently developing the logo for us at the moment. Thank you so much. Um, who else do I need to uh, remember? Um, gosh, I hope I'm not forgetting anyone. Marston, you've been incredible. You know that this is a massive dream for me, and um, right from the start you supported me in that. You've got on your hands and knees, you've helped me scrub this place. Every piece of equipment in here that is black, we have hand painted, scrubbed down with wire wool, um, you know, got splinters and in between working full time jobs, training twice, two, three times a day, him looking after his, his, his boys and me doing my PT and getting, getting ready for comps. We've managed to turn this place around and it just goes to show that if you really want something, you can make it happen. And um, I'd just like to thank you for that because that I'd like to um, charge your glasses to Martin for, oh, no, 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 just, no, 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 this, no, for helping me make my dream come true because if it wasn't for you, um, I would have had to ask a lot of other people for help and you've done it incredibly gracefully and um, you know, <laughs> from mirrors falling down to getting splinters to you know, getting uh, hardly any sleep, I'm really grateful I love you, thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> As far as the mirrors are concerned, most of you would have seen how uh, fabulous uh, they are. <laughs> um, I couldn't hang a murderer, let alone a mirror, so uh, they would be, <laughs> be rehung next week. And I just, I just want to say, every single one of us want to make our parents proud. Having met uh, both Anita's mum and dad, um, and her dad is something special. Um, he's 70 odd years of age. He's every year he's just starting out all over again, <laughs> and uh, she really is a chop off the old block. And, he knows how much this means to her, and uh, I think you'll be incredibly proud of him. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Well done, Anita. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Thank you to everyone who's um, supported us in this. Um, the other thing I want to say too, uh, eventually I will be leaving Fitness First, which most people will know now. Uh, January the 21st, 2008 is the day that I started at Fitness First, and um, it was thanks to James giving me, me that chance to be a PT here that's really helped me to grow my business, meet all you guys, you know, really take things to that next level. And, um, you know, the way I see it now, personal training is not just a job, it's my life. It's something that, um, you know, a lot of people just sort of say, hey, they do the hours, but I care about every single one of my clients passionately about their goals and, and dreams as well as mine. And I hope that every one of you that train down here 
or try coming down here have the chance to um, benefit from, from that feeling. Um, apart from doing one-on-one -on -one training down here myself, Martin's going to be doing one-on-one -on -one boxing. Um, I might be biased, but I think he's a brilliant boxing trainer. I mean, he helped me for my first fight last year. <laughs> mm -hmm. And um, we'll also be offering MetaFit classes uh, down here in groups between six and eight people, depending on how massive or small you guys are. <laughs> and I mean that in like a muscular sense. Um, MetaFit training is something that we've both just been doing recently. And, it's, and uh, as Jamie and Hazel know, um, it's pretty, pretty tough stuff, right? <laughs> it's um, body weight training, and it's maximum half an hour. And if you guys spend hours and hours doing cardio and you feel like you don't get anywhere at all, Metafit's the kind of thing that you can actually really, really stimulate your metabolism with. You don't need any equipment. If you're into hardcore you know, training that's going to complement your weight training or your sports, then that's the kind of thing that you want to come down here and try I know Hannah's tried it. <laughs> What's your feedback, Hannah? It's the worst thing I've ever done. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't breathe for about four hours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty nasty, but it works. And the idea with MetaFit, and the reason why I wanted to bring it up, is um, when you do cardio, a lot of people are actually concerned about the amount of calories that they're burning during, ca during cardio. MetaFit is something that's designed to burn the most amount of, cardio, uh, most amount of calories following that cardio session for 24 hours afterwards, more than, say, like an hour's run and so forth. Um, the other thing that we're looking to develop down here is a treatment room. For those of you guys that don't know Neil, um, this is Neil here in front of me, wiping the of his face. He's an amazing a ART therapist who um, is interested in doing some a ART therapy down here, aches and pains, sports injuries, that sort of thing. So we want it to be a one-stop shop for personal training, nutrition, a bit of everything really. Um, is there anything else you'd like to share? No, I just want to say, for, for those that want to come down and sweat, <laughs> welcome. And for those that want to come down and eat cake, me see at Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, we forgot our scissors, so I've got a bloody uh, Swiss Army knife. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll I'll give way to call him MacGyver. <laughs> yeah, so... Um, Okay, here it goes official. Woo! This is uh, APT on the, uh, what's the date today? Right, <laughs> yeah. September. Well, I like to say it's officially open. Yeah. Yeah. Drinks, make yourself at home, and um, it's nice. I make sure you do it. You do. Um, Bye.